Ladies and gents, this is where the story of Vlad the Impaler begins. A story of war, betrayals, but even more so, a story of becoming one of the greatest rulers that this earth has ever seen. Well, at the very least, depending on whichever side of the sword, or in this case, spear, you might happen to be. Because let me tell you this, there is no true happy ending to this story. No, no, no. It's actually not even a happy beginning or start or a middle. There's nothing happy about this. It's just war, bloodshed and destroying our enemies. Now the thing about uh, Vlad the Impaler is the fact that he wasn't just a random nobody. He wasn't, definitely wasn't a mercenary, neither a hunter or God forbid a merchant. He was actually born and raised in a family of noblemen. So I think that in this case, the best option would be a Baron's Retainer. It kind of gives us two points into writing, which is very important for a leader to have, but even more so, spears, lances, and all kinds of pointy stuff, if you get my meaning. So this is probably the proper option over here. Now, in his early childhood, Vladdy over here most probably had leadership skills, which would later down in life prove very useful. So this might be something that we can go with. Way with people? Oh yeah, definitely. Vladdy over here definitely had his way with people. I mean, look at the grin of his face. As a youngster growing up in his father's castle, he most probably uh, trained with the cavalry. Kind of makes a lot of sense. I mean, he was a nobleman. They had horses. This was something that not everybody could afford. And these were especially expensive. So this could be it. Or the infantry. Infantry also makes sense. I'm gonna go with infantry for now. Now, before you set out uh, for a life of adventure, what did I do first? Well, poor Vlad over here probably defeated a bunch of enemies in battle. He might have treated people well, definitely treated his people well, at least in the beginning before he got captured and, uh, you know, set for a life of a prisoner for about like six to eight years. But I think what would work better over here would be just defeating an enemy in battle. That's it. Now, story background. What followed after that? Trick tactics were definitely used back in those days around these parts. Tricking enemies, since, well, we were always at a disadvantage. Cunning could work really well. Now, his family name, later on we're gonna decide on that, was actually Dracul. Or, well, the devil, with a literal translation. But that's, uh, you know, something that I'm gonna choose a little bit later when we exit the tutorial. And what I need to do now is to build a small army. Oh, and there's uh, the family name, so this is the real family name. He's, uh, he was basically Vlad the Third, as his father uh, was also named that. Now, uh, we need to pick an emblem. Red, obviously, from the blood of our enemies, that makes sense. Even though uh, his crest was a combination of blue and red, so whatever, we're gonna go with this. Now, the thing is, his family crest was kinda lame, but the Transylvania crest from about like a century later was pretty much like this, and it looked really awesome. So it kind of fits, it's also something that we use in our national flag nowadays, except with a sword in the hand and with a cross in the other one or whatever. This one kinda looks like a chicken, so I'm gonna try to avoid all of this. So, I'm just me, just gonna go in, recruit some, some people, build my small army, and look at that, six already. Nice. So, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna roam from town to town, see what missions we have for now. And eventually I'm gonna start doing tournaments. Tournaments are a very good source of uh, just getting items. I actually got a character full with armor just because of those. But it's also kinda like fits the story. He would spend his early years doing a ton of uh, fighting and stuff like that and whatever noblemans do. Not really that many historical data showing that. So I'm gonna recruit a few more of these and I'm gonna buy some products including grain which is kind of expensive over here. I'm gonna waste 100 on these but I don't care and we need that a little bit. And <laughs> look at these poor bastards. Stop fleeing you fools, you cannot outrun me. There you go. See? See how they run like mice? Like cockroaches? This land is infested with these people. I really need to take these down. Well, mainly the social and economic problems of this uh, region kind of forces people to do that. But, uh... Move to enemy. Okay, man. Advance. On my command. Actually, just charge. 
And I'm gonna charge in with this and that. I'm already good at impaling, bro. This is when Vladdy learned how to impale people. It was this time, around this time, when he learned how the spear enters a human body. There you go. Zero deaths. I had a low renown for the amount of stuff we did, but whatever. One prisoner, poor bastard. And... What's this? <laughs> no. This is no. This is a big no-no. So, Vladdy right here looks really awesome on a white horse. Kinda fitting, don't you think? So now, I'm gonna just go from one town to another. Maybe we're gonna visit Lycaron. I think there's some uh, quests in there that I can take. But there's a few in here as well. So my overall uh, goal is to eventually kinda be a vassal to the Western Empire. It, it, there's nothing really here that fits that much. Maybe the Northern one, but it, it, we didn't... <laughs> we didn't have any contact with the northern one, so that's pretty much a deal breaker. But probably the Western Empire is what I'm gonna be a vassal to and kinda eventually make my own. So now we have a bunch of troops, we have a bunch of money, and we have a quest. This guy... Wow, he's influential. Okay, what mission does he have? Deliver herd to Ortizia. Okay, this is an easy one. This is actually a good quest. Gives quite a bit of money. Okay, there, my good sir. How can I be of service? I mean, in those times, you had to make money from any source you could. And a scoring was one of those. And by that, I don't mean that, like, the meaning from nowadays. I mean, literally, escorting somebody somewhere and providing protection. So, we need to reach Ortizia. Which is on the other side of the Earth, but it's not really a big problem. So we have about seven days, no, four days, scratch that, how am I even gonna reach that? I think we can, so I have like 600 left, let's just go. We're not gonna fight anybody on our way over there. We don't really afford the time right now. And my speed is also pretty good, so 5.2, not really that bad. It also gives us a chance to actually go in and kinda get ourselves accustomed with everything that is in these regions, like we got that 10 looters, that would have been amazing, but we don't have the time, I'm gonna come to that later. 13 looters, that would have been an amazing fight, there's some looters outside. So the person we need to meet is... Urios, the Tanner. There's another quest over here, that could be useful. So we can pick quest after quest, eventually take part in tournaments. Man, this is the life. Just training, building my wealth. Okay, let's talk. 12 heads, you should better thank me. 400, not that bad. I would have uh, enjoyed a little bit more. But thank you nonetheless. I'm just gonna sell some of these that I don't need. Bit of money over there. And I'm gonna recruit more troops. Archers, just 50. Or just buy them like this. We have the money. And these guys. <laughs> Oh, no, 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 no. Wait. Hold up. Hold up. Okay, let's go. My speed? 5.1, 3.4. It's on, baby. Don't run! It's gonna make it worse. If, if you surrender now... Ah, who am I kidding? I'm not, I'm not gonna let him escape. There's not gonna be any room for surrender here. So this is, like, overwhelmingly in my favor, but... Just advance. Oh, and archers you can uh, fire at will. Actually, hold fire until we see them. Eh. Fire at will. And I'm gonna charge right in. I'm gonna charge in with a lower thrust. This guy. Rocks? Really? Really? With the rock? You're gonna pay for that. Well, good job, man. <laughs> that was easy. Nice. Okay, that, that's actually too easy. In the early game, it's, everything is too easy. So, I'm just gonna go in, um, take everything from them. They got some grain over there, which is nice. And now, my plan was to actually go back. Because I'm still not decided if I should pick the Southern Empire. I think that one makes more sense due to its position. Basically surrounded by other big empires, which was the case for us. And also, like... The Eastern Empire, the Ottomans, at uh, at the East. So that would make more sense than a Western one. 
But then I, I would be the vessel to my own country. That doesn't make sense. I, it doesn't really matter. I'm just gonna go in and do it. Let's see what these big cities have for us. I could take part in a tournament even right now. But it would be extremely annoying to fight with others way better equipped than I am. So I'm just gonna trade some more. Throw in some of these items that I don't need. Don't need. I could have smelted a few of these. They could have been useful. Um... Troops don't need anything. That's good. And taverns. I'm just gonna sell these. Now, I could probably use somebody as a companion. So, the accursed. She kind of looks flimsy. I need somebody who can... Uh, never mind. I need somebody who can actually fight for me. And she kind of looks flimsy. I hope this is not like one of those games where... Small puny characters have like huge stats. I hope that that's kind of reflected in how the characters look So I'm just gonna leave for now. There is a tournament, isn't it? There is a tournament going on Huh 46 Okay For now We need equipment. We need money and we need bigger armies Alright, there's a quest right here. So this guy delivered the herd to Phaikeon. Yeah, Phaikeon, that's the name. Some of these names are a little bit strange. Still uh, not rolling off the tongue as they should. Yes, give me your uh, whatever you have. I'm gonna bring it on the other side of the world if you want to. <laughs> For the correct sum, of course. Wait a minute. <laughs> Hold up a minute. Hold up a minute. How many do I have to bring in? You need to deliver at least half of the herd. So, now here's the thing. You paid me, which is nice, but I am your lord. Or soon to be lord. I have to take my tax, which is gonna be this horse. Right here. You can get this one, this other one. It's not really a big issue. But this one, the Midlands Palfrey, <laughs> he's mine. That's your tax. So anything that's along the way I'm gonna kill, loot and plunder, well, not real villages, just the looters and the plunderers, I'm gonna do some looting and plundering upon them, but nobody seems to be here, so I guess, I guess it's just a lonely ride, me and my 20 men, how's the morale? Pretty, pretty decent, over 50, party size exceeded, what do you mean exceeded? Wait, hold up. Hold up. No nobleman here to talk to. Well then. Last day to deliver the goods. And I'm looking for... Turiados the Brewer. Probably butchering their names all over the place. But it's better than butchering them. <laughs> for now. So this is the guy. I'm gonna go in and talk to him. Okay, he looks pissed. I don't care what happened to the rest. Well, in any case, it is better than nothing. Yes, it is. It is better than nothing. So be glad that I'm not taking your life as well. So remember me when I'm going to become a ruler. Anyway, <laughs> let's... Uh, I'm going to keep this other horse for my companion when I have it. I'm just going to give him like the, the poor old raggedy ass ugly looking horse. Anyway, more quests here. This guy is influential. This guy is influential as well. But they have all issues. It's good because I have issues too. Overpriced raw materials. Are my men good enough to do this? I'm gonna go with overpriced raw materials for now. Because in one of my playthroughs, one of the early missions made me fought against cavalry. Cavalry? And it wasn't, wasn't really good. It didn't end well for that version of Vladdy. So, I heard you may need some help. The other side of the bargain is that offer, uh, okay, reasonable price. If you want me to read any of this, just tell me, but this is like a nice almost 600. Good. So let's fix this man's troubles. For, for the raw materials that he needs to continue his work, you said that you can bring him six units of wool. Okay, so I can bring this by simply going in and just taking down other looters, steal their stuff, maybe even like break down some of the items they definitely have wool i have sold all of the wool let's see maybe we find some wool over here and just be done with it though that's gonna be the cost 
and there is no wool. Oh, there is wool, but it's it's 38. It's not that expensive. 200. I mean, screw it. I'm just gonna do it. Oh, look at that. More looters. Now these guys are mine. Come on, don't make it harder than it has to be. Stop running. They keep running like mice. Oh, look at that. Look how many looters there are here. Like, these woods are infested. I really need to clean these lands. Right, so no, not really Soldier! tactics here that I really need to use. Just attack everything you see. There you go. Ow. <laughs> Direct kill right there. That's what I'm talking about. And miss. Wow, one of them actually killed my Imperial Soldier. Well, that was a weak man. Deserved to die, probably. There you go. Wool? No, just wine and butter. Could have been worse. So. I ran so far away that I even forgot where I am. So, fight run. This is where we need to go. Let's go, man. And actually, since we're just here. Yeah, let's chase this. Let's chase these, uh, these looters on our way to Ficaron or Ficon. This is, this is basically the ultimate convenience. Chasing them right next to the city that I have to eventually go into. Oh, God damn it! Really? Sep <laughs> you lost three men from an army of 70? What kind of army is that, you loser? Anyway, I think it is this guy. The original quest giver that I have to talk to. To give uh, all of the items that he needs. Okay, so. I bought you six units. There you go. And that kind of made it so that my reputation with Carry Boss the Appraiser is kind of down. But I don't really care. He was, a, he was pretty much a jackass. Let's just put these out of their misery. You're pretty much blocked. God, I love it when that happens. <laughs> I'm not even gonna gonna go in and dignify them with an attack. I'm just gonna send the troops. There you go. Wait, hold up a minute. Wait, what? 15 people die against 2 people? Okay, so remember, remember me to never use that option again. 15 people die against 2 misly peasants. How does that even make any sense? I'm already pissed, dude. Okay, okay, we're gonna have to hire back some people. <laughs> that is absolutely ridiculous. How can some people die like that? Like, it's nothing. I must have had some pretty bad soldiers right there. Why am I even paying them? This is disgraceful. Extremely disgraceful. You're eating my grain? Using my money? <laughs> How does it even make any sense? Doesn't matter. We're gonna form them in battle eventually. So, let's go. Trait... Wait, train troops. Oh, I know what this is. Actually, this is a good mission to have. This is actually a good early on mission to have. It gives me basically, well, people. And I can train them. So there's a hideout. I have like 18 people. I could go in and do that. I could do the hideout. I mean, obviously, I'm not going to use the same 18 people. I'm just going to use a lower party. But it's a hideout nonetheless. And it gives us loot. Now, the thing is, I don't, I'm not really sure if I can change my party over here. Where's my shield? God damn it. I don't have a shield. Okay, man. Follow me and let's fight. I think that I've came a bit unprepared here. Just attack him. Yeah, I think they can do it. I'm just gonna leave them charge in for now. But not like too obvious. I need to go in and attack the last moment so they don't get a chance to actually see us let's go there you go a few spears in the back will fix it there you go <laughs> now follow me again man stay behind and stay quiet but it's too late okay just charge charge and kill them by the dozen or three there you go <laughs> calm down man god they're bloodthirsty i can barely stop them so th this is a good army to have. If they're bloodthirsty like that, it means that they're good recruits and good, could be useful later down the line when I build my real army and take down the lands and impale my enemies. 
And they're as blind as bats. I mean, the bat theme overall here is, is what we're rolling with, guys. But come on, I mean, don't be blind like bats. So, I'm not gonna duel him. If I duel him, he's gonna rip me apart. Because he has bad armor. So I'm just gonna retreat over here and poke him with my shaft. <laughs> I gained a level. Still learning the ropes of actually using this. There you go. Good job, man. Yes. Only two of you died. That is nice. 4.3 renown. That is insane. That is nice, man. Look at this. So many prisoners. And so much loot. Yeah, kinda. So this is a better spear than the one I have. 26. Thrust speed is lower, but it's a tier 3. Handling is lower, so I would have a worse time actually with it. Ooh. Better boots. Not gonna lie. Gonna take it. Now we only kind of need... Oh, wait. Wait a minute. This is actually way better. Jagged spear. This is actually a better spear than that one. Now we just need a shield. I prefer fighting with a shield. Not bad. Now, let's do some more fighting, actually. We need... <laughs> wait. It, it, did it just really spawn again? How did one survive and make another hideout? Like, he's probably like, not again. Please, Lord, not the same bloodthirsty animals again. We're just trying to live our lives here in the woods. In our lame shacks. The poor, the only guy... <laughs> the only guy getting destroyed right here. He was just sitting by the fire, cooking some meat. Ooh, I'm scared. At least there's the leader here. Yeah, I don't think so. I'm just gonna poke you. I'm really good at that, apparently. Yes, good job, man. Still gives you a ton of renown for that. Okay. So these prisoners would uh, fetch a nice price at the market. Um, another one of these troops getting leveled. That's nice. Look at that. Finally, a shield that I can use. It's a flimsy one, but I'm gonna use it anyway. And some javelins to throw. Because I like throwing, apparently. Fur? Huh. Hold up. It's better. Huh. And it looks good on me. Maybe this too. I mean, it's armor at the end of the day. You know what? I think I'm glad that we came here. I think this was a, a good thing to do. I just have to worry about these fools that I have in my... Uh, command because they are not leveling as fast as they should so what i'm gonna do now is i'm gonna go in and actually get a companion and give him a horse and that should at least kind of help me with the speed a little bit because i have 15 more days until that quest is gonna be finished and i don't want to fail this so i'm gonna go in the tavern Ooh, ransom prisoners for 300 and i'm gonna get a companion whichever one is i don't really care i'm gonna take it Oh, the black. I'm pretty sure that means she's a rogue. Or he. Kind of looks like a she. I don't mind a rogue in my party. Okay, not bad. Not bad. Let's go. Let's talk business. I can use someone like you. Only 871. That's actually reasonable. I've seen stuff like 15, 2000. Okay, so let's go and actually... Equip her with a horse. That's nice. Give her um, this and something to wear. It's kind of like heavy, a little bit too heavy for a rogue. So maybe I should keep her on the light side. But for now, she needs a little bit more protection. So now, my speed is a little bit better. That's what I'm talking about. Hold up. Another one. Man, I'm so lucky today. I just get to chase all of these... All these bandits around woods, killing them, taking their stolen goods. Oh, <laughs> you did it wrong. They wanted to climb up the mountain. Who does that? Who does that? This is not gonna go well for them, is it? Open field. Okay, hold. Hold. Just advance. And you will follow me. Everybody else charge 
Just charge. I'm gonna take one of them and that's it. Nice. <laughs> He's pissed. Stop throwing rocks. That's rude. Sweet. Man, this feels good. Oh, <laughs> we're not leaving any survivors. No way. No way, Siri. This is going bad for everybody. Oh, I missed again. Sometimes it's a little bit finicky. But I'm getting the hang of it. Look at that. In the head. Good job, man. And woman. <laughs> nice. Sweet. Sweet, sweet. We got more looters. Um, powered troops. Only one of them. I have four left. How many do I have to train? All of them or just like over half? Really hope it was over half only. Okay, what about my companion? She needs some wraps. Look at that. Now she looks like a proper assassin. Maybe something on the head. Something to make it look like a real um, rogue. Kind of like this. This, look, this looks nice. Come on, I need to do my target practice. I'm sorry, guys. I really don't want to kill you anymore. I need my target practice. I need to, I need to train my men. Oh, look at this nice field. All right, wait, hold, just hold. Make a shield wall. There you go. That's actually not necessary here, but <laughs> whatever. Okay, and advance. Close. Just charge in. No. Oh, contact. And another contact. Just not a kill. That's not a kill either. Okay, kinda. They kinda broke off a little bit. Well. We're just gonna pick off the targets. Nice. So, let's see. We got enough for now, and I think that now we have our clan ready. Um, we have some more borrowed troops. Two more is what we need. Oh, wait, quest completed? Oh, wait, never mind. Um, that was not the quest that we finished. This is still 6 out of 10. And I only have like 5 days remaining. So we did the clan thingy. So now we have an actual clan. That actually is a thing, only level 1. So, just a few more days until it's over, and I still need four of them to level up. See, that's the problem. That's the problem with this freaking quest. See, that that's the annoying part. I don't have enough speed because they gave me these borrowed soldiers, and they are slowing me down. Attack! Advance! Okay, except you. You're gonna follow me with your horse, because you keep messing up. Actually... No. Move. Wait here. Move. Move. Stay here. Wait. Just wait. This is our advantage. And... Now. There you go. They're exhausted. Just came out of water. This is a very good place to kill somebody. Including this guy right here. There you go. Too bad it's just small parties and I kind of don't get to evolve too many. God damn it. Okay, so actually two of them I think died during training. <laughs> what? Actually two of those poor bastards died. So I think that I can't even complete the mission anymore. Oh boy. Hold up. I think I can take these down. 25. There's a lot of them. But I think we can take them down. Good, let's go. I think we can do it. We have better men. Ooh, that was a big damage. That was a kill. No chance. Yeah, keep running. Hahaha. <laughs> Victory! But there's way too many of them that keep running, so we need to kill them. Look at these. 
Oh, this is way too satisfactory to do it. Yes. Yes. No. There's way too many of you. I need to call you. Nice. Ooh. <laughs> Keep aiming for those heads, dude. Well, I'm pretty sure that now my title is pretty much complete. And the last one. There you go. Thought I used the, the other thing, but only one of us died. That was a good renown. I'm not really sure what is going to happen with this quest, because at this point, at this point, I'm pretty sure I'm going to fail it. And I probably would have wasted a ton of time on it, training his troops. But well, whatever, we don't need that. I don't really care about that. He, he's going to be my vessel soon. Anyway, doesn't matter. Screw you, boo. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go in and take part in some tournaments. I really hope it's an armor. Oh, this is actually quite a good helmet. So, skip, skip, and let's bet some money on this. Okay, it's this. Already nice damage. Kinda need to take care of this guy. Oh, that was a headshot. That's a headshot. We won! Good job! Right, this is probably gonna be a free fall for all. We're gonna go two versus... <laughs> Never mind. Wow, my guy is going in. Like, ham in. So what I'm looking for here is to not have a party. Remain uh, alive. Because then they cr can group up. See, these guys are the ones that I said they are tough. Yeah, the ones with the armors. This is like this one. These can be a problem early on. As you make more and more, eventually it's gonna become better, so... Good, yes! God damn it. I'm gonna have to use my... Aim, but my aim is so bad. No, actually, he's moving. Sometimes they stop moving for some reason. I'm glad he did that. Ouch. Ouch. I need to move the very last second. Oh my god. Kinda need to move the very last second. Oh my god, I did it. I actually did it. Holy moly. That was too close, dude. It's not fair. They have too much armor. And everything is all in. 1200. I think I can do this. Can I? I think I can. No. No. Miss me. Protect yourself. Protect yourself. What are you doing? <laughs> Okay, that was too easy, bro. Just aim the face, slash him, and that's it. And that's what I'm talking about, dude. We just won our first tournament. 1600. Man, that's a lot. And that's a good helmet right there. It's about 30. I think it's 30 for... Yeah, it is. That's a lot of protection right there. Look at this. And this looks good. So we should probably take part in a bunch of other tournaments as well. I'm gonna go in and do another one too so this what's this oh it's gonna give me a horse i don't really care about these horses at least not yet kind of need armor more but i'm not gonna mind it okay you screw me there buddy you really screwed my positioning oh that was a nice hit that was a very good hit Oh. oh my god, dude. The luck on this guy. Dude. Ah, he's dead. Good job. We're gonna see you in the final rounds and see who's better. But everybody looks like they have worse items than I do. So this would uh, this would work really well. Not, not two on one. This ain't fair. Yeah, just kill yourselves. There you go. Actually, this one is more armored. Get the hell away from me. Oh! Oh, okay, you can fight! 
I can fight too. See? I told you. Man, this is so satisfying. I'm not gonna lie, man. These tournaments are extremely satisfying. Okay, this is not good. <laughs> uh, oh boy. Oh boy, this is not good. Oh, I can do this. Okay. Don't shoot. Don't shoot, you bastard. Okay. I can do this. Protect yourself. Protect yourself. What are you doing? What's that? My man, you were two versus one. How is that even possible? Imperial Archer. <laughs> this is not your specialty, boy. You're in the wrong neighborhood, boy. Like this. Like this, my man. And yeah, it's too late. The poor guy, dude. How did he even end in the final? Like, those two should definitely should have... Like, should have, they should have definitely won. I'm not even sure what I'm talking about anymore. But let's see this horse. Kozian. It's called the Kozian. Or Kossian. Oh, boy. It's way more than I... Uh, can use right now. It's a tier 3. Really good one, actually. He's good for meat as well, so... <laughs> I'm probably not gonna use it on that. Riding 90 is the requirement. My riding right now is not that great. As a matter of fact. So I'm probably gonna have to sit this one back. But you know what? This was actually a really, really good start. We just need a better shield, actually. And we can go in and do more tournaments later down the line, like 6,000, that is just insane. Absurd how much that is. This is better, this is 600 and it's better. But you know what, I kind of don't want to do any of that. I'm just going to recruit more troops so I can increase my party size. And that's about it. I think that we can uh, put an end to the episode right here. Our party is growing. We have money. We have a lot of troops. We uh, won a bunch of tournaments. And we're going to do more of that in the next episode and the episode after that. So leave a comment down below. Tell me if you want to see more of this series right here. If you want to see more of the Impaler. And yeah, I'm going to see you guys next time. So peace.